Hi, I'm Madison Soraya with Singing Success, and we're gonna talk a little bit about whistle voice. So first, what is whistle voice? Whistle voice sounds like this. It's a very light, almost extension of your head voice sound. You've probably heard Mariah Carey do it. You've probably heard Ariana Grande do it. There's some of the queens on that realm. When you're trying to find it, one of the vocal hacks that there are actually multiple on our program, but one that we'll give you is the puppy dog whimper. So literally just imitate a puppy. There's this kind of dopey quality about it and you're going, ooh, 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 that's in a low place. Randomly shoot it up into some high place. Don't worry so much about exactly where, just shoot random and see what happens. Sometimes you'll hop up here and get some random note, sometimes you won't, and that's fine. So some of the reasons that your whistle voice might be stuck can be, one, your larynx. So finding your larynx, there's this Adam's apple right here. There's a V-shaped notch above it. If you swallow, it'll go up. If you yawn, it'll go down. This guy, when we go higher up the scale, for an example, We'll want to go up. When it goes up, it gets tighter, kind of sounds a little splatty. So instead, as you go high, think like you're yawning. It'll also help if you keep your finger here so you can watch it. Sometimes you'll think you're doing it right and then your larynx will creep up anyway. So that can be a huge reason why your whistle voice is getting stuck or even that your head voice isn't extending its range. Another reason is squeezing too tight. I am a big culprit of over compressing, so I understand it, but really focus on allowing, allowing, allowing. One of the things you'll notice is when you're in your low voice and you go, hey, there's this deep, hey, vibration in your chest. As you go higher, hey, and it's getting thinner, the vibration is getting lighter. Your vocal cords don't have nerve endings, so you're not gonna feel anything in here. But something I've noticed as I've practiced whistle voice is that the vibration I feel in my body gets less, 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 and less. So imagine feeling nothing, and now you're gonna feel even more nothing, if that makes sense. So with your whistle, you shouldn't feel a thing. So your larynx, lack of feeling, and don't over squeeze. If you're catching yourself doing something like, see how it's kind of tight? My larynx might be fine, but I'm really squeezing to get those notes. Try something that's a little less tight and a, something like a might help counterbalance it. Those are some of the things to focus on with your whistle voice. But another thing that can help you as well is find a random note. Don't worry about connecting it. Once you find that random note, practice connecting to it, even if it's flawed, that's totally fine. And then being able to control each individual note. And that's part of the process of strengthening and building and thinning out your voice. So if, you're practicing your whistle and you run into and you hear how there's just breath there, that's not a big deal. Your breath can be on the right pitch, but if I overcompensate and squeeze or let the larynx shoot up, that's not gonna help you. So don't habitualize those wrong habits, habitualize the right one, even if you don't have that win of the sound coming out. You hitting the right pitch and allowing it is a win in a, of itself. So be happy with that. And that's part of the growth there. And those are some of the things that you can try for your whistle voice.